back to my channel it is your girl nexus for me if you didn't know well now you know if you're into my channel please smash the subscribe button and hit the post notification so no bell so you know if to my post and if you're returning subscribe welcome back my team of it is so so good to have you back um so in today's video um i'll be doing a little um things you need to know about first year lb specifically at uj all the things you need to know basically about first year so before i carry on with this video please excuse any background noises that you're gonna hear i'm literally by the window and there's cars so yeah so without any further ado let's get right into it i will be looking down for like the whole video because i wrote everything down on my notebook so uh, yeah i know a lot of people be like you know your first year is easy enjoy first year relax let me tell you something about lmb chair if you're not if you're not a hard worker your first year is not going to be easy you're gonna literally because you you're dealing with transitioning you're dealing with all that type of, you, you're dealing with all the freedom you're dealing with all the type of ish so if you're not a hard worker you are not gonna pass first year or you're not gonna survive your first year you get me lb is a lot of work trust me you have to give your all because it is a very demanding course it needs you to be dedicated it needs to be a person who likes theory as well because there's lo there's a lot of um note taking there's a lot of case reading and all the type of ish. um so but trust me like um lb is very interesting it is very interesting despite the whole no it's hard no there's a lot of work no there's a dot, 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 dot. like it's very interesting but this way when you learn if you are gonna go study lb you will see it it is very interesting you get okay there isn't any specific advice i'm gonna give you guys but in the end just be determined just be a hard worker just be dedicated to your work i'm not gonna tell you guys no don't go party no study every day like i know like most people be like study every day me i literally didn't study every day um but i still got distinctions in my first year you get me so but it depends on what type of person you are some other people don't like gra grasp um course easily so they have to study every day with me i can grasp content in literally two days or three days some people take some weeks to cross that context so that to study start studying earlier with me i'm very fast you get me so it also depends on the type of person you are but if you know yourself if you know the subject okay as in i know that um i'm a hard worker i know that i can study and get um grasp my content and everything if you like that then you can start studying for an exam like three days before you're studying i'm not advising you guys to do it i promise i'm changing for my second year but I used to study for exams like three days before because in that way i remember the concept easily like i in that way i remember the stuff that i learned easily you get it so yeah and be first year you have three core modules which is your law of persons and family introduction to legal studies and legal skills right um so and then you have to choose um two electives with the core modules right so there is a lot of persons right so let me like tell you guys so first semester you're gonna do law of persons introduction to legal studies legal skills and your two elective modules and then second semester you're gonna do law of family so as i said um there's law of persons and the family they they go together but they separated first semester is law of persons second semester is law of family and your last exam in november you're gonna be tested on both law of persons and law of family so it's kind of you know okay shut up <laughs> so as i said okay law of persons basically this word is like law of persons it's self-explanatory you studying the law of a person right so it's a very easy module i'm not even gonna lie to you easy module easy to get distinctions because literally i don't know okay, about one thing about me Nay, like i i like to think that stuff are easy that i can pass in i don't know if it makes sense but like for me law of persons was very very easy because it kept on repeating the same stuff but like in different ways you gave me so law of persons they're going to teach you about a person's status a person has a status you are gonna learn about a person's capacity capacity to act capacity to litigate like because a person has legal capacity you're gonna talk about them um, what is it um what is it Kanje? i will guys i forgot but like you're gonna talk about the um, nasty adage 
you know you on top it's like it's very interesting one thing about love persons is very inter interesting um easy to get distinction like trust me it's very easy to get distinctions when you watch this video and you study love person you should come back and comment it yo yes nicole you told us with love person very easy like love person in the family is one module that i'm pretty sure if you study hard you're gonna get distinctions in because that's literally the easiest module in first year right okay sharp and then we go to legal skills so legal skills as i said is a first semester module and in legal skills they basically teach you legal skills <laughs> they literally teach you like legal skills like the basics of law like how to do your legal research how to reference because when you're writing like your what am I, like when you're writing your academic research academic research i don't know if that makes sense but if you're writing like academic stuff you have to reference so they teach you how to refer using da and how to navigate the law library and stuff and stuff and stuff also let me tell you one thing about legal skills right so when i did legal skills like during the course because like it was first year like i was literally like what the hell is happening in this module i was so confused but trust me in that in that exam in that exam chat i I ate it up, okay? I ate it up. Because one thing about me, I might not get stuff like during the course, but in the exam, I make sure that I make sure, I make sure what's in Zopala in Dodo. But it is young. So legal skills, um, also, I'm not going to say very easy to get a distinction, but a distinction is possible if you study. Study, consult, but I'm going to get to your consulting and stuff, but study, 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 and study. Okay. So your third um, core module is your introduction to legal studies. So introduction to legal studies, apparently, not say apparently, legal studies is literally the hardest module in first year. So legal studies is gonna be your hardest module. Legal studies basically they teach you like, how am I gonna explain it? Like I don't know how I'm gonna explain, but like they teach you the history of law, your classifications of law, like Kuti law separated into different branches, your private law, your Dun, 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 dun. you see like they, they teach you that they teach you your they touch on human rights like j legal studies is, is also very interesting especially in, i think second semester legal studies is the hardest but the first semester is easy trust me very easy to study do your cases and all that and then you go to law family which is your second semester module so in law and family they teach you like the law of the family literally law family was bored me to the core law of persons was nice because i was learning about a person but law of family bored me to the core because it's all about marriages engagement divorce like but yeah in the funny side of law of family your marriages your your divorce your uh matrimonial properties the, diff the three different matrimonial properties um so for instance your marriage and community property out of community property um out of community property with a crow but i don't wanna confuse y'all mrs bonella right um yeah like it's literally only marriage and divorce and yeah religious marriages all the type of issue i wish i had someone who would advise me which elective to choose because the electives that i chose i'm sitting here today i am like why did i choose that because honestly, I, I, I don't get it. Especially with my English, I get my other elective. I chose it because I knew the stuff. But my English, because you have to choose between three different Englishes. But you can only choose between three those three different Englishes um, if depends on your metric, um, final metric results. Because if you, if you have, um, if on a metric certificate, your english is above 75 above 75 then you can choose between the three englishes but if it's below 75 or below 65 i'm not sure then you can't choose they're just going to give you english for law right okay so we have three different englishes we have english for law english 1a 1b english 1c 1d my advice to you go for english for law that's just my two cents i'm not i'm not forcing you on that's just my two cents i honestly wish that i went for english for law because yeah 
I just wish I went for English for law because the English that I chose literally was held me like this. I'm just so glad I'm not doing English in my second year because wow, English one A and one B basically teaches you how to analyze works. Like so when analyze in like why did I go for English one A one B? Because when analyze in in the in the, in the thing in a court, I won't be analyzing any any novels, any poems, any short stories, a court. I should have went for English for law because look, it's teaching me how to write academic stuff and you, you get me. English, like, analyze it, but yeah, English 1A, 1B, you, you basically, the both semesters, you analyze your, your short stories, your stuff, and write essays based on them, and honestly, it is, with me. My advice, though, m my perspective, I'm not saying you guys shouldn't go for English 1A, 1B, if you are a person that can analyze stuff, because trust me, the marks, getting marks there is very hard. Getting those marks is very hard. So if you can analyze stuff, then go for English 1A, 1B. And then English 1C, 1D, I didn't do it, but I'm going to tell you guys what I heard about it. So basically, English 1C, 1D, it teaches you how to write um, essays properly, how to construct your sentences. So basically, it teaches you how to write things in a formal way and how to write an academic essay. That's what English 1C, 1D does. And then English for loan. English for Law um, basically teaches you how to also how to write academic essays, I think, and how to how to summarize, how to paraphrase, how to use formal language like that is needed in, in court or whatever. Um, I also think it teaches you how to reference using the and all that type of ish. You get me? So like English for Law goes along with the LLB. La my English, I was in the LLB like. Because firstly, they don't even use the same referencing, but it's fine. I can elective list them on the screen, um, but it is your business management, your psychology, your sociology, your um, your development studies, your historical studies, politics, and yeah. So I'm not gonna actually go in depth with all of them. If you have any questions, you can just write them down in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. I'm just gonna. Um, advice on what i know right as i said with english for law if you want to get like distinction if you want your academic record to look scram the them go for sociology sociology is easy marks apparently sociology and psychology are easy marks so if you want distinctions go for sociology and psychology and uh, those are your easy distinctions um and then if you want like academic record even with some kind of value or something like that go for business management because business management also helps because it teaches you basically how to manage a business i did business management and honestly business management is business studies you get so that's why i actually chose business management because if it wasn't there maybe i would have went for psychology or sociology or whatever else there was but yeah um, I would advise you guys to go for sociology or psychology. But if you have any questions, we see. Okay, this is the, um, because I don't want this video to be too long. If you have any questions on the other electives, you can just DM me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle, or just write them down in the comment section. I would love to answer you guys and help you out, because I honestly wish I had someone who help me out in my first year and tell me what's okay this elective this is what you're gonna learn and stuff and stuff and stuff but i realized too late that okay i can't change my um electives anymore so after like learning the concept and stuff so the other advice that i want to give you guys is that please consult with your tutors attend your tutorials because they literally count for marks i didn't attend all of my tutorials and i think for introduction to legal studies the tutorials were like it comes to sixteen percent of your semester mark or your year mark. I can't remember, and I did not tell like all of them. So please, guys, attend your tutorials. They really count for marks, and also um, consult with your tutors and your lecturers because that also helps when you want like what is it called? You see in your CV there by is it references or what? <laughs> but they yeah, lab or they also help because like you can get like. You know, an account company from a lecturer. You get 
so yeah attend your tutorials attend your classes okay no i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna say attend your classes guys we are honey if you know what okay if i don't attend this class but i still can i like understand the content the next day then do nothing because honestly i'm not even gonna lie i did not take most of my classes but i still passed because i'm that girl you give me and i'm a hard worker so that's why i passed but like let me tell you something english and, and bn business management i didn't take those classes second semester didn't but i passed because as i said i'm that girl i was editing this video i realized that i forgot uh, to talk yeah, about what else? so in first year and in your third year you'll be doing a mood course where basically you'll be assigned a case with your group members and you have to write your head of arguments in that case so basically you are a lawyer now um so you can give in a case um given time to like do your heads of arguments and all that type of action then go present that case in front of you either your lecturers or tutors which be acting as your judges so it is a very nice experience it's very fun a clip of me i'm at my mood court after this um voiceover so yeah Yeah, you're a supermodel, thick, down to the spots and at the bottom I'ma lose my mind in it, crazy than my tool, I'm black out it Get to rubbing on my lamb, get the chini out the bottle uh. mm, Get the chini out the bottle Okay, as I said, I'm not gonna tell you guys to not go partying, to not spend time with your people outside to not go outside i'm not gonna tell you guys not to go outside because i'll be crazy if i tell you guys that i'm not gonna say no guys don't don't um go outside don't enjoy your time don't, 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 don't. guys enjoy your time but know what's important know your priorities prioritize your your schoolwork schoolwork should be number one especially if you're doing llb like it should be number one but yeah um if you guys have any other questions and other um advice you want me to give out please let me know in the comment section but yeah this is everything that you need to know about um lb first year specifically at uj i hope you guys enjoyed the video please do like comment and subscribe to my channel until next time honey